Did you hit the button? Yeah. It's, it's, there it goes. Cool. Oh, live, live. Like, not even like I'll go live soon or anything. No, 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 no. no. We're just going to, whatever. It's, I see. Okay. It's, oh, you know what? People, I should probably change my stuff. People can right? come on in. Because this is birthday stream. I should probably change all that, right? Oh, the lights or what? Huh? What What are you changing? No, the uh, the, the thing that says, like, it's, on the thing it says birthday stream. Oh, the title, the stream title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought you were changing it no, no, a no, second no. ago. Change, I'm That's fine. That now. Everything's fine. Everything's uh, fine. Don't worry about it. It's Everything's better. perfectly fine, Bobby. I should probably. I'm not going to use it as a title. Um. We have to shut the stream down to change the title. No, I don't. Really? It's just yeah. going to change? Oh, what? Change what kind of magic are you doing? Oh, Bobby. Must be that guru magic. Something like that, yeah. Oh, I just got a notification that the Nintendo guru went live. There you go. Yeah. Thanks. I didn't realize it was that kind of delay. Uh, there, there's a delay on it, yeah. You have to tell Crazy, everybody, like, right? yeah, so don't feel bad when people don't show up immediately, you know? That's why. Tony I... Baker told me he was going to be here, and he is here. And he's in my time zone, bro. That's crazy. What I do, Sean, is I start the stream typically. Um, and then I have the. What I do is I raise my desk up to about this level. Mm -hmm. So you can't see my. Head. Well, so the camera's up above that level, right? Yeah. So you can't even see my head. And I just sit here, and I wait till I see one person's in the chat, then I lower. Same. Like, I just do like that going that going live sooner, coming starting yeah. soon and whatever. Um, I'll head <clears> up <throat> the Discord here too. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do the. Should I do the everyone tag? Yeah. It's gonna happen. Sorry, everybody. Not sorry. So the the title should have changed now for everybody. Super rare. Josh Stapleton, live. thank you very much. If Coach Timbo, what up? Nintendo old gurus. We're old school too with the layout. With the the logo, dude, is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, I even have my red cup to match my beautiful face and my hat and my 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 microphone. I've got a I've got a lovely Donkey Kong mug and a jacket. I like. I got jacket. my extra life. I I this jacket, you know, jacket, I wear weird, it Karen. so rarely that it's like it's still brand new. Like I think I've worn this jacket maybe like four times. You wore it on I your think, show a couple times. Yeah, maybe three. Yeah. So yeah. that plus like extra life kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you mind if I just like touch my chest? I don't know. Did, like we tweet, did we tweet out that we're live? I did, yeah, and I just put it in the Discord. Okay. I'm gonna I guess I should retweet it, right? We're live for a super UK friendly time and mountain time shows up, you know? Yeah, it's man. incredible. Yeah, man. It's incredible. Did you tag? No. Of course. I did uh, the show. Is it uh, if we were in Nintendo is what you tweeted from? Yeah. Uh no, from mine. From mine. I just tagged if we're on Nintendo. Oh, okay. Coach Timbo is the dude, man. Oh, you ain't telling me nothing, dude. Oh my gosh. Tag. Josh Stapleton. Oh, we're so lucky. Josh Stapleton, fundraiser of the year. Just keeping the friends happy, man. It's so good. Uh I got my shout outs. There's so many people here to shout out today, too. I wanted to join in on Splatoon yesterday, but I didn't realize that I had deleted it. I don't know if it was something from like the system transfer from like my original to the light. So I wanted to play on the original and then I was downloading it. And then you're like, this is the last match. I'm like, son of a gun. So I reach over to my light and it was like so dead. Yeah. Don's here. How are you? Oh, look What's at these first. You got the, the founder tags on yeah, there, man. Yeah, because there's people that were actually like here, like the first 10 people. Get the, I love get that. The first, first 10 subscribers to my channel get that first. Their, is there a way to find out who that is? I'm sure know, there is. Like but, Alex, I mean, like Alex <clears throat> Van Aken cashed in on his. He was one of the first, and he gets that tag. I can't remember who else, though. I'm all showered up, man. I've, uh, I'm ready for the day. 
Washed all of my whole body, Bobby. Love the jacket. Thank you, Don. I love it as well. It feels like it's not an actual article of clothing. I'm not sure how to explain it. It feels more like a toy. It, it feels like because it's it's very rigid, I guess, is one of the things like it doesn't like it's obviously fabric, but it doesn't feel like fabric because it so it kind of just like sits on you, whereas like a like a T-shirt will like more conform to you. I don't think that this is doing any conforming like this will look the same on any anybody who wears what it. What is up, everybody? And welcome to I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. I, that could have worked, man. Let's it do could, it. It could have. It could have. That could have worked. I, <clears throat> right. I would never stop you, Bobby. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I got to get to show. Oh, I know the show. I know what we're doing. We're fine. <clears throat> what is up, everybody? And welcome to episode 180 of If We Ran Nintendo. I am Bobby, the Nintendo guru, joined by the greatest co-host in all the land, Mr. Sean Capra. Bobby, you didn't even, I, I'm going to have to edit out the audio, but I tried to distract you with that intro, man. You just pushed right through. You're an absolute professional, games, dude. Man. I don't play games. I'm, I'm Happy birthday. Go. Thank you Happy very much. belated birthday, man. Thank you very much. Um, crazy, man. Crazy. I'm 46 mm-hmm. years old, man. Old man. Old man. You River. never know. Don't look a day over 47. Yeah, man. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get it? You son of a, yeah, I got you. I got you. Well, dude, yesterday was something special, man. <clears throat> as we recorded we'll yesterday. We'll get into that. We'll get into that in a minute. We'll it's get good to see that. you. You know, we'll get into that in a minute. But we'll so do the whatever you is, want So the do. thing is, is um, this episode is live. Uh, so basically, I mean, it's pretty much going up right away. People don't mm-hmm. have to really wait until their typical times to to get it, which is what Tuesday. I think we put it yeah. on Tuesdays, right? Something sure. Like that. I forget. It's been a while. It's been, we've we've kind of taken a few weeks off. Um, it has. You're right. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. We should address that. Yeah. So so we uh, so we thought you know episode 180 would be kind of special, and we should do it live. So, but mm-hmm. also not just that, we thought to ourselves 180 is special. Uh, we need to make a major announcement or whatever. But we're not going to do the announcement now. We'll do the announcement at the end of the show. So yeah, um, you got to stick around. So you got to stick around if you're here watching live. And if you're listening, I guess you could just fast forward to the end. <laughs> it's you probably well, heard. Probably probably whatever at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Sean, let's kick Bobby. this episode off like we do each and every episode with our shout outs. Geek out, geek out. Oh, my God, Bobby. Did you see those Animal Crossing uh, accessories coming out of Japan? Bro. Holy crap. Bro. Did you order them? You're about me? You, yeah. you're, you're asking me if I, I know about them. I didn't well, order I didn't them talk, yet. I didn't order them yet, but, like, but they will be. Them up. Yeah. They will be ordered very, very soon. Very yeah. soon. They're so good. They're gorgeous. Oh, They're gorgeous. Yeah. I can't, what is it? I can't wait for those things. And Tony Baker's going to Japan. Hmm? So he says to me the other day, he's like, hey, man, if I go to Japan, um, do, you, do you want me to get you anything? I'm like, dude, everything, Animal Crossing, mm-hmm. whatever you can find. I don't care if you're walking down the street and you see, like, some little kid with a exclusive, like, Steal it from her. Steal it from her. Just oh god. Just take it. Take it out of her hands and send You'll it. You'll never over. see it coming. I don't think stealing is really a thing in Japan, Bobby. Nobody's even looking for it. Exactly. They're wide open. Exactly. You just you just do you. Just do you, Tony Baker. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about <laughs> what that. What does that mean? Like, well, look, I mean, listen. If, Logan, if, if Logan he Paul went over there and started all kinds of stuff, good god. He, you know, Tony Baker could do the same stuff. We're not worried totally. About it. So totally. Um, yep. but okay. Shout outs. Right. All right. So, man. I guess I should just do a I'll one sit back for 10 minutes. grouping thank yeah. you shout out to to holy crap yesterday. I really did not expect what to happen happen last night. And essentially what, what it is is this. I yesterday's my birthday, turned forty six years old. Um the holidays were kind of melancholy for me. Birthday was kind of melancholy for me. I just was like I've been in this weird rut lately where I just feel like, I don't know, I'm not excited to do things. I'm not excited to, well, I'm not excited to be alive. You know what I mean? I'm just like, whatever. I'm just going through the motions. So, yesterday I decided, you know what, I'm going to stream. I'm going to stream for my birthday, and we're just going to hang out with some great people, my friends, and play some video games. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. Dude, first off, first off, let's just go to... The OG crew. Yeah. I had people from Europe showing up in the middle of the night for them mm-hmm. just to hang out and play Splatoon 2 with me and, and, and such. We had 30 people all night long. 
pretty much the whole all, time. Pretty much the whole time. So the, the minute the stream went live, boom, about 30 people show up. They're all hanging out. They're all We're all having a great time. We're playing. And then I would say about hour and a half, two hours in, Miss Click rolls in yeah. with a raid of mm-hmm. 100 people. And literally, dude, I could not keep track of the chat. Yeah. Everybody's like throwing up happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. And I'm just like, what is happening? Then all of a sudden, gift subs start going out. Yeah. And follows. I I had a is goal. Out of control. For, I had a goal for myself. I wanted to reach 450 followers, but I ended a stream. Mm-hmm. And like I've been slowly ticking off like the follows lately, where it's it's slowly but surely starting to get to the point where um, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. And dude, crushed it. We're at 452 now. And Love and, it. and and just so people take it into context, I was about 20 away when I started the stream. Yeah. So it wasn't like it was an easy feat to get. Yeah. And just last night blew up and, and killed it, you know? So I have a huge, I mean, Miss click, if you guys don't know who she is, she is, I called her last night, the queen of Nintendo. And I really believe that that holds true. She is such a fantastic woman, um, who is actually a Nintendo ambassador, good friend of mine. I met her through Patrick McNamara and Nintendo talk, um, but literally, dude, I started to cry during the stream last night because I was just overwhelmed. Like, mm-hmm. I'm sitting there watching gifts up after gifts up after gifts up, just hammering away. And I went, what is happening right now? So it was very nice, very, very awesome. And and so that's that's essentially my shout out. So I, I don't know. I should have gone first. I can't top that, man. That's like... <laughs> That was that. It was. Well, I was very lucky that I was able to. I, I, I like Bobby's doing a stream. I'm like, how do I? How do I jump in? Because like, I, I don't want to miss your birthday. Like, yeah, no, I appreciate that. You're one of my best friends in the world, and I didn't want to miss it. But yeah. I couldn't really play along, which is just really, it's the worst feeling in the world. But yeah. I managed to. Uh, I think I gotta gotta clean the bathrooms. I think I gotta sneak away and just like scrub some toilets and some. some so I always, whenever I clean the bathrooms, I've always got my phone with me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I had your stream with um on my phone, just on the. Uh, you know, just in the sink or whatever as I'm cleaning up. And, and I, so I was there. I got to see it all happen, man. And yeah. a lot of people who are watching um, this stream right now as we record uh, were there as well. And yeah. it was just like we were all – I think like I got caught up in it. I'm like, man, I'll, I'll sub. Like, I, yeah, I'll, you like, even subbed. But it was like – it was everybody just really celebrating the guru on his birthday and making it special. I yeah. think we all kind of acknowledge um, – like kind of just how the holidays went for you and how yeah. these these moments are important for as we get older. I think it's weird because we have this like weird relationship with birthdays as we get older. But like it's comes to a certain point where like, man, we got to celebrate these years. We got to yeah. celebrate these moments like you, yeah, you get this day. It's your day. So and what better way to do that than streaming, than creating content, than playing video games like it becomes the absolute perfect birthday. So yeah. Miss Click is just like. She's very, very special, and oh, that yeah. was so awesome to see all of her community come out and wrap their arms around you in this big internet group hug, man. It was yeah, awesome. No joke. Mm-hmm. No joke. Uh, my shout-out is um, not a birthday stream or anything like that, but uh, I was on an episode of If We Ran Nintendo. I'm sorry, not If We Ran Nintendo. <laughs> That's <laughs> special. Good God. They mentioned it at 6.30 in the morning. Um, Nintendo Nostalgia okay. with Jacob Rush, Ryan Black, and they asked me, I don't know, probably about three years ago to, they, they schedule very early. The joke is that they schedule like yeah. months and months in advance. So I recall now that they, they lined this up back in like June or July or something. Mm-hmm. And so Ryan messages me like, I think first or second of, of uh, January. He's like, so we're still good for whatever it was, Tuesday? I'm like, yeah, totally. And I look at my calendar, I'm like, oh crap, I totally did book this what game am i playing donkey kong land okay played donkey kong land i pulled out i've got two carts of donkey kong land bobby because that's my first game boy game i ever bought i ever played Mm -hmm. with my own money on my own game boy and i just had a really great time talking to those guys and um caught up with jacob rush who i haven't talked to in a little while and jacob if you're listening i just want to let you know that that i love you with my whole heart and if i could get my arms around those big old muscles i would to give you a big hug dude amazing amazing Mm -hmm. uh Mm -hmm. i got i got one more shout out um okay so yesterday, this is going back to the birthday thing. Um, I got a tweet, a very special tweet. Uh, all day, you're getting, I'm getting tweeted at, I'm getting messages on Facebook, I'm getting text messages, which just makes you feel amazing. You know what I mean? And then Robbie Bobby Miller sends me a video of his daughter Ava, uh, oh yeah, wishing me a happy birthday. And this man, it completely melted my heart. 
Mm-hmm. Like this girl, this little girl, it's on my Twitter. I retweeted it because, man, it just takes you to another level where it's it's no different than like the first time Preston reached out to me and was just like, hey, man, can I have your autograph? And it's just like, wow, man, this is this is a moment like this is you don't realize essentially how you're affecting children. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's you get caught up sometimes in the numbers and the and the hustle and the trying to reach 450 followers on on Twitch and stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know, you sit there and, and you see this this little girl that literally tells her dad that she wants to take nine takes because she's not happy with the way it's turning out. <laughs> and even and then eventually here it comes, you know, it, it pops out and. It's this little girl saying happy birthday to me. And I'm like, this is amazing, man. This is mm-hmm. so sweet, you know? So shout out to Eva and uh, and, and Bobby Miller and, and all that stuff. So Yeah, man. Um, okay, let's jump into some topics, shall we? Okay, and okay. And I really don't – I didn't really bring topics on because I think there was something major happening, which kind of taps into Joel Brooks. Joel Brooks did a, a, a – he on Patreon, you and me, Capri – Patreon.com mm-hmm. slash Jimmy Capri. Joel Brooks, uh, he actually asked us a question, and I thought this kind of goes into it. But yeah. this week, uh, Alienware at CES, CES unveiled the uh, UFO. And uh, my question is not so much, you know, what what basically what do we do? Mm-hmm. If we ran Nintendo, what do we do in this situation? Because... It's obvious to me that, man, I just don't know if copyrights were infringed, if patents right. were infringed. Like, mm-hmm. it's 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 a touchy situation, man. Yeah. Like, that thing, to me, is an absolute ripoff. Ripoff. Of what the Switch does. Every <laughs> yeah, little detail. Yeah. Like, okay, so you have a kickstand that's a gigantic flap. Yes. Okay. It's almost like they just sat there and went, like, okay, here's the Switch. What are some modifications we'd like to make to it? And then, boom, here's ours. But, like, even the Joy-Con grip, the cradle, the... I mean, the only difference is it's just not playing Nintendo stuff. Right. Now, we've seen this stuff happen in the past, and everybody, like, you know, they immediately, you know, pump the... They basically slam on the gas and start screaming and flipping out. I don't feel like we're necessarily there, but Mm -hmm. I honestly feel like if I'm Nintendo, man, I'm looking at this and I'm going... We need to contact the lawyers immediately. Send it's, up the ninjas. It's got to happen. I mean, mm-hmm. not not that I have. Here's the thing. When Ouya came out, I remember people were all scared. Like, oh, my God, this thing is going to take over the world. Right? It's going to destroy gaming. Like, all console gaming is done. It's over. I think there's one thing that when Nintendo looks at this UFO, I think they essentially look at this and go, we're not scared. Yeah. It's it's the same thing of why they're not worried about Xbox, why they're not worried about PlayStation, why they don't consider these companies to be competition, because they got one thing that nobody has, and that's Nintendo. That's mm-hmm. Nintendo IP. So, I, in one hand, I'm worried, and then the other hand, I'm like, who cares? Mm-hmm. So what? Okay, what's your what's your? Let's break this thing down first. What's your take? What did you think when you saw this thing? Uh, my first thought was that Vita means life, Bobby. Vita means life. And by every stretch, every measure, the PlayStation Vita was better than the 3DS and should have crushed it. Yeah. And it didn't. Yeah. And I honestly don't even know if it goes much further than that. But the whole um, – the copyright and the like um, trademark infringement and whatever, um, I, it, that's a – that's a tricky spot. It's yeah. the whole idea of like if you if you create a chair and somebody makes a better chair, like is, are are they copywriting the chair kind of thing? Yeah. Um. It's the it's the Mark Zuckerberg social media thing, and I, I don't know that that they ever really had a leg to stand on. It wasn't really like the tech itself. Maybe exactly goes into it is proprietary. Like the I wonder about um how the Joy Cons work and they charge and everything like that. So there may mm-hmm. be elements that they can't really copy, but essentially it's a tablet yeah. that you can create and and it. Microsoft and Stadia, in a way, are kind of putting that tech in, in other people's hands in terms of doing it with their phones. So it's not really not really there. But you're right. Like, the, the, we haven't even discussed price. This is a concept, which I think just goes into the fact, like, Alienware is no newbie to the to the hardware space. No. Right? And they haven't they haven't released this. They've always obviously been working on this for a bit. And they could have been working on it since the day that um, 
the NX was revealed as the Switch. Yeah. And so I think that the fact that they haven't got it nailed down is actually kind of encouraging as well if you're a Nintendo fan because mm-hmm. um, that means it's just that much further out. I think it means that it's in, it's going to be insanely expensive. Uh, and it means it's going to be a, a niche product. And that's not how – that wasn't Nintendo's approach. The, no. It was the exact opposite. It was for everyone. Yeah. It, it, so set, first off, the games that it's running are – and this is where I feel like they are targeting Nintendo because there was only three games running on it. Those three games were all games that are on the Switch. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like this is what this can do. Look what the you know this can do what the Switch can't. You know. Yeah. Um, they're talking about they're not even talking 1080. They're talking bigger than that, right? Straight up 4K. Yeah, 4K. They're looking at yeah um, in a tablet mode. I just well now that put like I think the last time you and I chatted, we were talking about like how. How are we supposed to be expecting 4K gaming to happen on a tablet? Like, because we're talking about, yeah. like, at, at some point we're talking about the Switch Pro and how, like, we shouldn't be expecting a, a Switch Pro to be doing 4K, even though that's where all the other consoles are going. Like, that's, it's a tablet. And then all of a sudden I see this thing and I'm like, oh, maybe it is. Maybe we're further along in the in the tablet tech than I thought. Yeah. But then you came along and you're like, I think on Twitter, and you're like, well, price. Yeah. Like, how much is this sucker going to cost? Yeah. Um, I, To me, that thing is easily a thousand bucks easily agreed like there's no way around because that's the thing alienware sells computers Mm -hmm. alienware is i in my opinion is going to market this as a high-end gaming device yeah they're gonna they're not gonna i mean you think about like how much are tablets how much are ipads yeah how much are you know this is no longer you know grandpa's switch this is a powerful thing that they're going to go after now the only difference is and i thought about this and i thought the only advantage they have to real games is microsoft is microsoft is basically going like our stuff is on pc so it's it's basically accessing the steam store so a lot of basically anything you can get on steam a lot of the xbox stuff is going to be available there so mm-hmm. I look at like someone like you or someone that's very hardcore Xbox going like I need one of these because I love my Switch and here we go. Now Well, if we were in Xbox, it'd be the whole like what it, it's a it's an odd time to be jumping into that market because of what Microsoft is doing with XCloud. Like mm-hmm. why would you like the, by the time that thing is ready, it seems like like phones would be able to just run these things from the cloud well enough. True. Like it's just like Nintendo landed at the absolute perfect time, yeah. and then Microsoft is doing their thing at I think at the perfect time in the perfect way, especially compared to Stadia. Like it's going to be a tough sell when you've got Mario on Switch and you've got Game Pass on X Cloud, yeah. where it's like super accessible for everybody else. So I don't know. I think that's why they re- revealed it as a concept. I think they wanted to let people know that this is at least a thing yeah. before things kind of kind of get too carried away, and it ends up being like a a star link from Ubisoft when after the, the um, toys to life thing all died. Yeah. It would have been int- like, just to know, like it's a concept. It might not even be released. I think they still have a lot of work to do on their end on like, is it even viable in the market? Cause things are changing so much in that space. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, is it because to me to affect the switch, it's gotta be priced aggressively. To totally. Affect the switch. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be honest, man. Little Timmy, is not going to get this thing. Nope. Now, who's going to get it is the Sean Capri's, you know, the the Jason Lacey's, the Donnie, you know, basically is the people that are going to get it. You know, those are the ones that are looking at it and going like, <clears throat> I'm hardcore into Xbox. This just makes Xbox much easier. Because yeah. I'm assuming you're downloading the games from Steam right to the console um, and you're going to play digitally, you know. Yeah. So it's it's taking advantage of a lot of what the Switch is doing, and making it just more powerful. Yeah. Um, again, price wise, you're probably looking at, I would say, minimum a thousand dollars. Minimum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, is it just a tablet? Like, I don't know if they went into like the like. Did they talk about the cradle and and having it docked to have video sent to a TV or a, or a computer screen or anything yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. That's the yes. whole like it's a it's, it's an actual ripoff. identical to the Switch. Everything yeah. the Switch can do, this can do. Yeah. So it has. Like bas- it's gonna be more expensive than a thousand dollars. Yeah. The the difference was though for me, 
where I saw a bit of difference. They're, I'm just going to call it like what we know it as. But they're Joy-Cons, right? Their Joy-Cons didn't slide down a rail. They kind of mm-hmm. like popped in. Interesting. So that was different. That's that, what I was thinking. Like there's going to be different ways. Like I feel like that is copyright. Like That's, that's where, very, like, that's where Nintendo trademark. has the – Yeah, that's where Nintendo has the patents on the rail system. Um I'll be honest, though, their Joy-Cons look like they had to be most uncomfortable things in the world. I think so, too. All angular and everything. Oh, man. That, that, yeah. like, let's be honest. The Joy-Cons as they are suck. And, mm-hmm. like, they – and my, my the other thing that happens when you look at it, you go, like, what happens when Drift sets in? Like, what's their customer service look like? Mm-hmm. Where, mm-hmm. you know, where um, Nintendo's basically got this whole strategy laid out because of Drift – you know, yeah. and we know that it's a thing, and we know that it's happening, so it's it's a little different. I honestly, as we've started the episode and we started talking about the topic, I went from well, we got to assume we got to get lawyers to yeah. more of a wait and see what happens type thing. Because, mm-hmm. like you said, CES doesn't mean things are coming out, and yeah. CES doesn't mean things are coming out tomorrow. CES yeah. means we're showing it off. We got to see if somebody is interested in it. Does it have a space in the marketplace? Does do retailers want this thing? Mm-hmm. If we do just sell it through the internet, or is there enough of a buzz to warrant it? And that's yeah. things that like Nintendo fans and us on the outside don't recognize because we don't know all the time the inside details of what these conventions mean. I mean, mm-hmm. essentially, that's what E3 used to be. Right. E3 used to be exact. Well, let's just go here. Nintendo and all the video game companies used to go to CES. Then they thought, let's step out because we want to do something separately and different from what everybody else is doing. We want something to showcase our stuff and give retailers a reason. So that's what CES was set up for. CES yeah. was originally designed to go, okay, here you go. Here's our, our consoles, our games that are coming out. How much do you want to buy? How mm-hmm. many games are you looking to get? And all this stuff. And these are the games you need to be hyped about and have in your store launch day because these are the ones that are going to be big and people are going to want. It's evolved over time. Because they started doing press conferences. CES never did press conference. They don't have these big moments where it's just like, hey, here's Microsoft on the stage and they're talking mm-hmm. about this, that, and the other. They don't do that stuff. Unless you're Sony, you want to show off a logo. It's totally different. Or a car. Color. Yeah, yeah, you know. Like just a random just a random car, man. But yeah. I, think, I think that the, it's kind of a it, – it's, it's nice because it's such a blatant ripoff. Mm-hmm. Like you just walk into this space. And I just don't know that – I don't know. I don't know. Nintendo really has anything to worry about. I don't know that like the PC gamers are really looking for like flexibility. Yeah. Like they they love having the. And I say that, and then I think about like gaming laptops, which are outrageously priced, which is kind of where like my mind goes about um, how much this thing is going to be. But if it's really going to like stand a chance in terms of it's if I'm docking it and I'm treating it like my home console or my home pc mm-hmm. like what kind of performance am i getting out of there and are pc gamers like really up for that sort of what i think it has to be a sacrifice and i don't think so i don't think that that really drives i think the nintendo market has been cultivated over decades yeah. to go like you're gonna get less you're not gonna get like the latest blazing like uh performance machine and obviously we're okay with that with the switch pc right. gamers are not like that i don't think that they're, they're really willing to to give up a whole heck of a lot for something they don't even know they want in terms of the portability. That, this is true. I think when PC gamers look at this, though, they go, I mean, look, PC gamers look at something like this, and I don't think they get excited for it. What they well, they can't brag about for, it. It's not like Master Race stuff anymore. No, exactly. What they get excited for is their... Their 4K monitors, the four of them, you know, their their mm-hmm. their gigantic the rigs. Yeah, like you think about it. Like we went to we went to Extra Life this year, right? Lee Navarro had this monster rig. Mm-hmm. He told us he told me he said it cost ten thousand dollars to put together. Yeah. So like that's your market, right? But that's like a casual PC market. Yeah. Like, I just don't see ultimately where this fits in now. That being said, I look at that thing, right, and I know for a fact now that, like, Switch, if we get a Switch Pro, Mm -hmm. it can do 
what everybody's talking about. It's possible. Because that was the thing. For me, I was like, how the hell do you get a tablet to run 4K? Mm-hmm. And it's this thing does it. And so, 4K and good games too. Like there's oh, there's yeah. comments in the chat too about like phones have had excellent resolution as well. Like it's yeah. been we're talking about like the same games that we're running, which require like AI yeah. and multiplayer and all these other things that you just don't really get on the phone. Like of course yeah. you get great great looking graphics, and we're kind of getting there on mobile, but like yeah. still not quite the same, man. I mean, if people look it back, right? So you look at the at Nintendo's play with HD, right? Nintendo was the last company to jump on board with HD. Mm-hmm. When the Wii came out, they were like, people don't need 4K or 1080. This is a waste of time. Nobody wants 1080. Nobody wants HD. And me, as a <laughs> Nintendo fan, but was like, yeah, I don't want HD. Who cares about HD? It's too much money. But then when the prices started to drop, yeah, and I realized, like, no, I want to play these games more crisp and clear, mm-hmm. then Nintendo finally got So it took Nintendo up to the Wii U before they got on board. Mm-hmm. It took them a while to get games out, and that was the problem. They they stumbled out the blocks because it took a while to get them running. But when they got it running, they they perfected it. Yeah, you had PS, you had Sony and Microsoft that couldn't hit 1080 60, and here's Nintendo coming out with Mario Kart and going like, here it is. Yeah, here's your, here's your 1080 60, like right, right in your face. What is there? What did you grab? It sounded like you have. Oh, uh, it was a, a bottle. Of, it was my bottle of Tums. I knocked it over. Because <laughs> I'm Italian, I talk with my hands, and I, I hit my. I, I know. <laughs> just everything's getting knocked over. Just well, the, the one thing that I am kind of as a Nintendo fan, I'm happy to see them like try this space mm-hmm. and having the reaction what it is and sometimes it's like the switch i think stands on its own um and because it, it's a great product we all understood that we wanted it but it's almost even better when you have somebody else some especially a reputable like it would be different if it was like the ouya trying again and they're coming out with a tablet but like alienware is like the real deal yeah. and they're coming out with this thing and it's gonna flop and it's yeah. like that actually makes it even better it actually makes a stronger case for nintendo and the switch like as being when you have something to compare it to and you're like I actually want this instead of this other thing, this yeah. other thing that's very, very similar. Somehow that actually is is better, and I would argue that that helped actually the PS4 launch because the Xbox One was th- that launch was so bad. People were like, "Well, I'm just going to go with this because it's clearly so much better." But if you have yeah. nothing to base your comparison off of, it's a little bit trickier. Yeah. But it's it's actually good news for Nintendo because it just I don't think it holds a candle. I, that's the thing because well, okay, and I'm I'm going to take a little bit of a shot, and I apologize beforehand, but. <laughs> Xbox essentially as games don't completely work. Um meaning that the last generation they failed. And some of it had to do with tech, some of it had to do with the way they wanted to do things with the DRM and all that stuff, but some of it was just the games weren't holding up. Yeah. And so are people going to buy this thing just to play Xbox games on the go? I don't believe they will. I don't believe, because, by the way, you also have this monster console getting ready to launch. I don't see people going, like, I'm buying this and this. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not going to happen. You know, I just don't, I don't see Xbox fans going. The only way I think this works, honestly, is if Microsoft jumps on board or Sony jumps on board and goes, we want to buy this. We want yeah. you to. We want our logo slapped on it. We want it to become our handheld. Mm. I don't see Xbox do, or Microsoft doing that at all because they have X Cloud coming out, and I yeah. don't see Sony doing it because I yeah. think Sony got burned so bad by PS the Vita that they don't want anything to do with handhelds anymore. And the mm-hmm. only handheld they're going to do is is X Cloud. You know, like mm-hmm. they've already partnered with Microsoft to start messing with cloud gaming. I don't see Sony messing with it at all either because I think, like you said earlier, Sony recognizes right away that, like, more power doesn't mean success. Yeah. Like, they stomped the 3DS in terms of pure power and what that thing could do. And at the end of the day, Nintendo was the one that just beat them to the banks and just hammered them. The thing – and part of the reason for that is um, what Nintendo realized here by combining all their efforts from from handheld – 
and console into one thing, which is not what the PC market would be doing with this thing. Like the Switch is is doing as well as it is because the games are not are no longer being split. You don't have like v, like Sony had Vita games and then they had PS3 games. But yeah. if they had all the same, if they were all playing the exact same thing, it would have been a different story, and they would have been onto this idea much sooner. But Nintendo really took a gamble because their handheld market was really paying the bills. The yeah. Wii U is floundering, so to combine those, but. But this thing, this thing from Alienware, doesn't it doesn't do that. And it's like this intangible. It's this thing that, of course, it does the same thing, but it doesn't like follow the same strategy or direction that Nintendo did with the Switch. And then you, to- you, you top it off with all the different games and everything else like that, and the mm-hmm. price and everything like that. But to me, it's more than all of those things, which are already commendable. It is about the fact that you didn't have to look in multiple places for Nintendo games, which is, this would be adding yet another place to be looking for PC games. And it's like, that make that automatically carves it out to being a niche. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I don't. I don't think Nintendo really has anything to work because that's all that anybody's been talking about this week is yeah. the Switch is dead. It's so weird in this world, yeah. this space we live in, where I've never seen people get so excited for something, want to see success, and then want to kill it so quickly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, we were we were waiting after the Wii U. We waited for Nintendo's rise, although 90% of people were, were doom and gloom and saying Nintendo's going third party. They finally crawl out of the Wii U era, and they're crushing it now. And mm-hmm. now immediately, this week, it's all of a sudden, it's like, oh, they're dead now. And it's like, what? Yeah. Like, what do you do? Do you, do you realize, like, what kind, what kind of has to happen to change the trajectory that's happening right now? Like, between, yeah. like, PS4 and Switch just selling, like, better than ever? Oh, Like, something... God really big is going to have to happen for it to actually like die. Like there's no, they didn't even have to put their, their system on sale on black Friday for it to win no. black Friday. No, like let's, <laughs> let's you know, keep it all in mind here. We went back, right? So if you go back a couple episodes, just before um, Christmas, I had Mark Carabin on mm-hmm. and Mark and I were discussing and he was saying that like Nintendo should have dropped their price. And I'm like, why? Like I'm basically saying at that point, like, well, why? Like Nintendo is killing it. Why that was, would they actually, have that to, was before? Wasn't that before? Uh, wasn't that before Black Friday? It was right after Black Friday. It was right it was, during Black Friday because we were talking about Black Friday deals. Because oh, it was, but but we didn't know what had happened. We, yet. Didn't, we didn't know, know that we didn't know the numbers. Right? We didn't know the numbers at that point. We yeah. didn't know that Nintendo had destroyed everybody in yeah. terms of like sales of the Switch. And I knew personally, I knew Nintendo was going to do gangbuster things because I could tell when people start reaching out to me before Christmas. Mm-hmm. And they start asking me, like, people that I would never even imagine wanting a Switch. And they start reaching out to me and going, like, hey, your cousin wants a Switch. Um, I don't even know what this thing is. Can you talk to me about talk to me about it? And I'm, like, explaining to them, this is what it is, this is what it does, and, this, yeah, you need to get it for them. Like, it's, it's yeah. a no-brainer. And um, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy when it gets like that. So I think mm-hmm. that Nintendo's in a good good place. And, and for sure. For people that are doom and gloom like just relax go get lost anyway. you haven't told people to relax in a while I don't, you just relax just, just relax, relax. Like, it has been a while, <laughs> it has been a while. um i do we do we really want to do todd Ox's topic what is it it's what? the one about chuck e cheese i don't even know what to do <laughs> i'm gonna read the topic and then yeah. i'm gonna we're gonna todd oxtra he said how would you take on the evil rat chuck e cheese and take over the children's birthday industry todd Get out of here. Just relax mm-hmm. with your nonsense. You know, here's the thing. Todd likes to troll a lot. He does like to troll. He's a professional troll. He is a professional troll. And the thing is, is like, first off, I don't think Nintendo cares about the birthday <laughs> market. <laughs> who, who wants to, you know, who wants to deal with people reserving old pizza and then and then having, what's his name, Sean? What the hell's his name? Sean whatever doing a documentary on on YouTube about it and you ever see that? No, I have no idea who Sean who. What the hell's his name? Sean Dawson. Or Shane Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson. That's who it is. Shane Dawson did a documentary about Chuck E. Cheese (laughs) Pizza saying that he thinks that they recycle it. Dude, it started this crazy thing, man. It went bananas. Oh my God. And like he's showing pictures and dude it I swear to God, it looks like like when they break it down of people taking pictures, it looks like they recycled it. I think it came uh, out that it wasn't the case, but man, it was so crazy. Like they went to the actual Chuck E. Cheese and like, <laughs> ordered a pizza to show. Oh, it was it was 
I don't it think I realized Chuck E. Cheese was still a thing, man. I didn't even realize that that was still around. It is. We had Bullwinkles here in Canada. We still have Chuck E. Cheese as well, but we had Bullwinkles as well, which is like this, of course, a moose and his whole like uh, cast of characters with these woodland creatures. And they had some like weird Russians chasing after them. It was very strange, man. Yeah. It's very weird. So, uh, so, so Sean, I think. Well, maybe that maybe that rolls right into with the announcement. Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so for the last time, that is all. Um, what, do you, what do you mean that is all? Well, okay. Or for the last time. What do you mean for, that for the okay, last, for time? last time? So for, okay. Uh, so if we ran Nintendo, is going away. It is. It is? This is the final episode of If We Ran Nintendo. Forever? Forever. For, well, who knows? We, you know, in, in six well, months, true. six months, we might be like, let's bring back If We Ran Nintendo. But as yeah. of now, um, we feel like that we've we've gotten Nintendo in a very good place. Yeah, we fixed and it. It's time for us to just step away from the whole mm-hmm. thing. Um, I want to explain to people here the situation. When we started, if we ran Nintendo, it was during the Wii U era, and it was just horrible in terms of like every single thing that Nintendo did. Everybody was hammering it. Yeah, and the topics were so abundant and easy and it was even at the time like it was even easy to go back and look at stuff in the past but we feel like as we've asked for questions and as we've gone forward like it's the same thing every single week yeah um we feel what, like even the same questions are being asked like topics what genre are, would you yeah, do exactly should we fix what, Chuck e. Cheese's? Yeah, what 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 game what game should you try to get for nintendo what con- what what third party should you buy stuff mm-hmm. like that and it just felt like to me i wasn't inspired as well we may have killed brendan myers as well we may have like just like he he came every single week with the yeah. topic like i think he's i think we got to give him a break yeah so the thing is, too, is like I look at this, right, and I and I think to myself, when we started this show, we mm-hmm. did something totally different that nobody yeah. was doing. Not even close. Nobody was doing a show like this. And then mm-hmm. now I look and I go, like, there's a lot of people doing kind of what we do now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I wasn't inspired anymore yeah. to do this show. Yeah. Like, literally, it was going through the motions. Mm-hmm. And, and because, and really, like, we wanted to hang. Yeah. Like it was just like yeah. let's like we we can't not do this thing yeah. because we want to we want to hang out. I like so, seeing you. So just to give people the idea of the thought process of where we were, uh we also do the Patreon on UB Capri. Mm-hmm. And my first thought was, well, we do a we do a, a Patreon exclusive show called Yumi Capri. And I was like, Sean, we should just take that show and just make that our weekly show. Yeah. Um but Sean was like, no, I don't I don't like that idea. And I need to shoot down at least every first three ideas Bobby comes out with. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is um, as we exciting as we go off the air, we are we do have a new show that we're doing. Um, you're going to get a sample of it right now. Um, and it, it's basically um, I don't even think we should talk about the name. Let's just show it. Okay. And then um, it's going to take a second for me to set it up and get it get it going. We're going to show it. <laughs> <Your head's so laughs> and then once we're done showing it, we'll come back. And then we'll yeah. just talk about it real quickly. This real is briefly. awesome. Um, yeah. So I'm going to mute you and I real quickly. Okay. Just give me one second, guys, and we'll have it up and we'll have it go. So uh, one second. I think, yeah, I mean, it could, it definitely could, you know, but it also makes me wonder because like I, this, this, I saw this article today, yesterday or whatever, a couple of days ago, it blew me away because I just, I don't agree with any of this. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, it's, you know, this guy on games industry dot biz, uh, he's an analyst who said he, he, he predicted the name switch light 
He predicted the Switch Lite, but he also okay. predicted a Switch Pro last year, but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, but he says yeah, the two SKUs, remember? Yeah, he, yeah, but we did get two SKUs. He just got wrong with the Pro. And right. He's saying that there's absolutely no doubt that we'll get like a Switch Pro this year. Yeah. Uh, that it'll have it'll be a 4K Switch Pro. Mm -hmm. um, it's coming in 2020, so it'll have 4K support, beefed up hardware. Uh, bigger carts, and it'll cost about three ninety nine, and it'll it'll also come out alongside of a system selling game. Yeah, and I feel like that's, I mean that's that's easy to throw that those words out, um, but I just don't feel like that's. I don't buy Nintendo it. Nintendo does. I don't like, buy it at all, man. Yeah. The whole like even just the whole like four K thing. Like I'm just thinking about like like the the PlayStation. The PS4 Pro doesn't do real 4K. Yeah. So, like, maybe they're talking about something like that where it's, yeah. like, whatever cross-stitch or whatever the technology is called <laughs> to do 4K over there. Maybe, but, like, I don't know. Like, it's still a tablet. Like, the thing is barely bigger than your cell phone. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I don't... I don't did they... I think it's going to be an interesting year whether or not they do it or, do, or they don't do it yeah. because of the new systems coming out. But I, I don't know, man. I don't... I, I tweeted out this week that I said I felt like... We're not getting a pro. I feel it's like got to be a stay at home. It can't be a tablet in that case. It's got to be a console. No, I don't believe. It. Well, I don't. I don't agree with that. But I mean, you could be surprised with what Nvidia is able to do. Um, but I think that I think the answer for Nintendo is don't do anything. Yeah. Don't do a knee jerk reaction to answer what they've been so successful with this generation. And and people are going to probably be upset with me saying this, but. The fact of the matter is, and listen, I'm, me saying it, I get a little upset because I want a Switch Pro. But I feel mm -hmm. like the Okay, so there we are. There it is. That's their new show that will be launching. Crazy thing is, right? Uh, that's available right now on iTunes. So if you want to listen to it, go right now. Download it. Uh, just look up Nintendo Guru on iTunes, and you'll have your you'll, you'll have it. You, it. No big deal. Um it's it's going to be a weekly podcast. It's going to run about 30 to 40 minutes long. Uh, it's just two people casually hanging out, just enjoying themselves and their friendship and talking about coffee and talking about Nintendo and whatever. Just hanging out just like it's a very chill, laid-back show. Um, so that's where that's where we're going now. So it Bobby, is Bobby, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, good, good. I, I'm just really, I'm just, I can't even contain myself, man. I am so excited about this show, yeah, Cup of too. Joe and Nintendo, um, as people just saw a clip. It is, just like you were talking about If We Ran Nintendo, nobody was doing a show like If We Ran Nintendo when it started. Nobody does a show like this. Yeah. This is breaking down all the, all the formats, all the things that you come to expect when it comes to like a podcast, like a video game podcast. This is so different. And it felt different. Like you can kind of even like, you can see us. It's just like, we're just, we're just chatting. But like, there's no like, what is up everybody nope. bobby here the nintendo guru this is episode blah 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 and there's no like we don't even plug at the end like nope. it's everything is totally it feels totally different it fits in everybody's lifetime i know that we put out a ton of content so it was a conscious effort for us to come up with a more of like a few conversations a collection mm -hmm. of conversations yeah. rather than a one hour plus show yeah. that people have to listen to every single week. So yeah. a cup of Joe just it, it breaks us and it breaks us free for yeah. from if we're at Nintendo and the constraints kind of created by this show. Yeah, I think the idea was let's like there's not even a break of like, okay, let's jump into the topics. There is no like, hey, it's time for shout outs. There is totally no, like we don't we didn't we didn't want to make it a formatted show. I mm -hmm. mean, don't get me wrong, it's an absolute formatted show. Yeah, we you have just, our you mm -hmm. just don't know it is. You just yeah. it, when you listen to it, it just feels like what it feels like is Sean and I are sitting in a coffee shop talking about mm -hmm. Nintendo, and you just basically are sitting at the next table, yeah, and are able to hear these two people talking about. I mean, it's, even in terms of like we have jazzy coffee house music, Nintendo themed, playing mm -hmm. underneath, yeah, you know, and it's it's really just something that I feel personally inspired and excited to do because it, mm -hmm. it makes me think outside the box. Yeah. Um, even in terms I, of, go ahead, go ahead. No, please, please. Uh, like even in terms of the way we plan to eventually introduce questions, listen, questioner, or questions yeah. from the listeners. Um, typically it's like, okay, let's get to the questions from the listeners. We're not going to yeah. do that. It's going to be mm -hmm. like, just, we'll give you an, an example. 
Hey, Sean, I was just talking to Joe after work earlier this week, man. I saw him over at, you know, K-Bart or whatever. We are just ran to each other. He told me next time I see you, he wanted me to ask you about Nintendo and yeah. this UFO device. Like, what, yeah. dude, what are your thoughts on it? And that's, yeah. like, it's just a platonic pool. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. and that might even come in between topics. Like, it could be something where we're talking about the UFO because that's mm-hmm. something we're talking about. I go, yeah, man, I was just talking to Joe after work, and he was saying, like, this. Totally. What do you think? And it's like, dude, it's just a more casual, laid-back show that, mm-hmm. A, I don't think anybody's doing. Nobody's and, doing this. And that's what has me excited and inspired again mm-hmm. to do. That's what got me inspired when we first started. You know, when we, when, yeah. again, when we started this show, you go back and you listen to episode zero, which is only available on, on YouTube. Um, but you go back and you listen to episode zero, and that's me and you laying out the thoughts of the show. And it's like, yeah. okay, what do we do? What do we mm-hmm. have? So um, I I would appreciate, honestly, if whoever is here, if you do go check out the show on iTunes, please rate us, five-star review, all that stuff. Like, we would love to get this show kind of in people's eyeballs as quickly as possible. So right now, the audio version is up. I'm still waiting for um, – and I can get you guys – art. yeah, there you go. The RSS feed is there, basically – um, Joe after work is already jumping all over this thing. Um, or he actually put it up. To it. He put the yeah, Apple, he yeah, to he, it. He, the guy is amazing. Um, we'll get you, well, if you listen via, I like via, uh, I'll get you right now. The, uh, the, the RSS feed for those that need that. Mm-hmm. So go ahead if you want to talk for a minute. And I'll yeah, that. sure. Well, a couple things. Um, one of the things I, I think about, like I never, with this show, I don't get to talk about the games that I'm playing. And so, like, the whole – the fact that I did the, the Xbox drive is, like, well, Sean only plays Xbox games. He's an Xbox and whatever. Like, I play a lot of Switch, man. I play it on the bus pretty much every single day. And this allows me to kind of just jump on in and go, hey, man, I've been playing this game. I'm, I'm really excited to be able to talk about, like, some of the games that I've been playing, which uh, – and I love talking to you about video games. I think that's part of just gaming conversation. And then the other thing is, like, I picture – like, I actually, like, picture us in a coffee shop when we're recording this show. And I think about like me walking through the doors with like with a newspaper under my arm and it's like a Nintendo newspaper. And I like, while we're sitting there, we're like, we're just, we're walking into our old man, like our senior citizen years, Bobby. We're like, we're we're two old guys like walking into a coffee shop. They're flipping through, thumbing through the, through through the newspaper. And they're like, oh, did you see this one? Did you see this thing? So the format is, I'm so excited about it. I saw people kind of get sad in the chat here that if your Nintendo was going away, but I'm like, I got like this big stupid grin on my face because I'm just so excited for Cup of Joe and Nintendo. And I should also say that, um, jumping off of the get us to as many reviews on Apple podcasts is like, that seems to be the, the, the thing that matters. I think the most in terms of reviews and launching mm-hmm. up the charts and whatnot. Um, Bobby and I are doing a giveaway. We're going to give away a $50 eShop card. Once we hit 50 reviews. Yes. So the faster we get there, the faster we're able to um, give that gift card away. So yeah. spread the word. I know there's there's 20 or so people here today. As soon as people hear this, go jump on. Um, there's there's links everywhere. Go rate it five stars. Uh, make sure that I think a written review is the best way to make sure that you got a chance to do it to yeah. to win. But you, we're giving away a $50 card, man. We are yeah. serious about this show. This is not like a pushing buttons and flipping switches kind of thing. Like we are locked in yeah. on Cup of Joe and Nintendo, and I couldn't be more excited. So please listen, <clears throat> rate, review, all that stuff. The uh, We'll get it out there too. The Twitter handle is going to change. Um, the If we were a Nintendo Twitter handle, is going to change. Um, mm-hmm. And then once that's done, uh, we're also going to keep a Cup of Joe landing in the If We Ran Nintendo feed for a couple weeks just so people can know, probably about a month, and then mm-hmm. we're shutting this feed off. This yep. feed will be done in about a month. So hopefully at that point we'll be able to convert everybody over. Um, so, you know, so that's where we're at. Um, anything else? Should we talk about anything new happened to, to the Patreon and whatnot? Um, or just post it? We'll just post it. We'll just post it. Um one well, of the things I'm I'm excited yeah. about is that we're, we're like we're everybody sees now what time we record and actually we're going to be recording a half an hour earlier yeah. for Cup of Joe because it is a half an hour forty minutes but what that also allows um, I came into 2020 thinking like how do we do our community better how do we like you do it already better uh, do it really really well and I wanted to step my game up a little bit so by starting really really early having a short show. Uh, my kids still don't get up. So what I'm going to be doing is having we're going to introduce new sweet hangs Sunday gaming at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where an hour, hour and a half, 
jump in with the community. Doesn't even this is not even a stream thing. Like just playing games with, um, and this is where we jump in with the Discord, the Yumi Capri Discord. So if people uh, new sweet hangs blind explosion, yes, this is very UK friendly time I think as well. And um, just wanted to play games with people on the weekend, dude. So whatever it is, if it's like a Dauntless type of thing or Call of Duty or whatever, and, um, Splatoon, Mario Kart, like every Sunday morning, you can count on at least me um, playing games with some some friends from the community for sure. So um, we've got a bunch of other uh, really exciting updates to the Patreon um, happening as well um, that you guys should definitely go check out. Probably the other thing that I want to mention is uh, for Platinum members, we're going to get you a custom, I call it a Patreon. So if you're a, if you're a Patreon, Patreon member at the $25 level or up, we're going to have an artist draw a custom Pokemon for you. So if you want to be like a grass type or you want to be a fire type or whatever, we're going to make Patreons uh, custom for you, man. It's going to be a brand new uh, perk for the platinum producers and up. Good Lord. Good Lord. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Bobby, let me kind of run wild with this. Yeah, one. Yeah, so yeah. you guys check. We'll post it right away. Here's yeah. lots of stuff happening over there. So please check it out. And let us know what you guys think for sure. <laughs> So, uh, so that is all. Uh, thank you guys for listening to us ramble for all this time. We appreciate and love each and every one of you. Um, we will be back next week with a cup of Joe and Nintendo. Actually, the video version will go up Tuesday of the show, just so people know about it. Uh, again, the audio version is up now, so check it out. But next week we'll be back with episode one or episode two, actually. Um, so. That is all. Be sure to check out everything that Sean Capri does on the internet. Sean like Connor Capri like the pants. Check out everything I do at Nintendo Gurus. That is all. Peace out, Preston. Peace out, Toby. <laughs> That's the last time we get to do that, Sean. Mm-hmm. We'll do it. You want to do that? So that is all. Peace out, Preston. I already did it. I just want to do it one Toby. more time. Because it's the last <laughs> okay. time we're doing it. Yeah. Actually, I do it on the Nintendo Talk with Pat, so whatever. Exactly. Yeah, just that, take yeah. it easy. Okay. I'm, I'm, all right. Just relax. Are you shutting down the street? We're hanging out with people. Or no, we're done. We're shutting it down. Okay. Right. <laughs> no. <Bye>. No. <laughs>